what you said to one another in those final moments of the game or in the locker room? Yeah, we, um, man, I mean, that's not the way we wanted to end the season, um, obviously. Um, we just shared a lot of love for each other um, and everything that we've been through this week, this this season, and uh, the highs and lows, and the locker room is just so special, and it's so, it's a place where we're so vulnerable, and the people that we see all the time and love on each other all the time, so um, I'll go to war with that crew any day, um, and that's basically what we were talking about in the lab room. Thank you. Uh, for either of you, um, you know, talking a little bit about the resiliency of this group this season, um, you know, the losing streaks that happened throughout the year, getting back to stuff, anything that happened off the court, um, you know, just the fight of this group, you know, could, could you guys talk a little bit on that? I mean, you got another right on the head, just the fight, uh, being resilient in moments where people want you to, to break, I think we got a lot closer. Like Chelsea was saying, I think because the season's just so chaotic sometimes and you're constantly running and you're just, you miss out on loving on people sometimes because you're just caught up in the moment and you just want to get a win or you want to recover from a loss. And um, I think this year we really noticed that we really have to pour into each other daily. Even though we see each other every single day, you can't miss out on an opportunity to lift somebody up. Um, and so I think that kind of showed our resilientness is like we were in it together, we locked in, uh, whether it was regular season or postseason. I think we really kind of came together and kind of grabbed the rope and understood what needed to be done. And yeah, the outcome is not what we wanted, but I think we have some things that we could take away from that uh, we totally can't just throw out because I feel like this season, and three beats are hard. It's hard as hell, that's why not a lot happened. Uh, but I think this year really kind of set a tone for us going into the off season about how we want to handle things. What's up? Uh, following up on something you just said, Adrian, you said three feeding is hard. What do you feel like is the hardest part of that? Doing it. <laughs> Doing it. Like, it's, it, I, I wish I could, and I don't want to sound like an asshole, but like, I really, just doing it. It's hard. Every team looks different. Your team looks different. Nothing's the same. Uh, everybody wants to beat you. Everybody, you're, everybody's Super Bowl, whatever they say. Um, and that's hard to come into, and you're, I mean, you get everybody's best game, and I feel like we got everybody's best game before the banners went out, so it was just a matter of time. But, um, you know, we're gonna take this, not gonna harp on it too much, it sucks, it stings, uh, but I, I'm very proud about the group that we had, so maybe we can try to start next year, get another, and start a three-peat. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Asia, question for you, um, uh, Coach Hammonds, uh, kept her composure most of her post game presser but she kind of broke down when talking about what kind of hurts the most yeah. um, and she said she hurt a lot for you um, considering the season that you had how has she impacted your career just this year the past years um, yeah. what does she mean to you yeah I, mean, I don't want anyone to hurt for me uh, I'm, I'm, we're blessed uh, I get to play the game of basketball get paid while I do it I'm around phenomenal women just like it's a fun thing, so hopefully no one hurts for me. It's, we're going to wake up the next morning and be pretty good in a good space. But, you know, it, it, Becky has just influenced me in a lot of different ways. The way that just the fight, the want to just want to go out there and be the best is something that she's always instilled in all of us. But particularly me, I feel like some of our conversations are just not even necessarily about X's and, X's and O's. It's just about, like, how do you want your legacy to be? How can we make others better? What can we do? How can we grow this franchise? And I feel like those talks go a lot further than just X's and O's because, I mean, the talent's going to be there, the skill's going to be there, everyone knows we're going to work in the off season, but the little talks, just the conversations, the mom talks, the mom hugs, the jokes is something that she's always kind of made it like for us to play and have fun and be us. And so, uh, Beck is someone that I'm, I'm so grateful that she's in our corner. Uh, she's someone that is going to always give us our all and tell us the truth no matter what. The ugly, <laughs> it can be tough at times, but, you know, she wants us to be perfect and she wants us to be the best. And, I feel like she's instilled that in all of us, and that's kind of how I want to be for my teammates. So, kind of sad that she hurts for me because I'm like, no, we, we we did pretty well. Like it didn't, it wasn't our outcome, but damn, we we did pretty good considering what the hell we had stacked against us. <laughs> uh, Asia, I know you said that just. Let me see these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I know those are cute. The act of three-peating itself is hard, but what kind of slight differences were there in going for the three-peat versus just going for a regular repeat? 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's really just, it's just hard. Like, I don't know how else to say it. It's just one of those things that it's just like, it seems like everyone is just gunning for you. And, and every single game is like a back against the wall type of game because if you're going to get everybody's first punch, you're going to get everybody's best punch. And you have to sometimes sustain that. And over the course of 40 minutes and over the course of the season, that's very, very hard to do. Uh, but I think we did a great job of weathering a lot of storms, particularly down the stretch. Like, obviously, we didn't have the start that we wanted to, but I think we started to really come together. Um, and that's what matters the most to me is that we never back down from any fight. We never back down from any challenge. We were always just happy for one another, and their energy in our locker room is something that's so special. Hence why we don't let a lot of people in it, because that's how sacred our space is. So it's hard, um, but at the same time, I, I would go to war with these these lovely young ladies any day, any day. Here you go, Lindsay Mark, and finish up with Natalie. Um, Chelsea, I think it's really clear to anyone who spends time around this team that you all are very, very close and care about each other a lot. Um, to the point that like Becky had made when she was in here about that she hurt for Asia. I wondered if you felt like the rest of the team felt that um, and how that can motivate you going into the off season. I mean, when you're on the sideline and you come into work every day and you play with the best in the world, um, you want it for them. You know, she got an individual award, but she, she wants that trophy at the end. And so when I played next to her, man, um, I understand what she's saying about her and her because she had record-breaking years, but like it was amazing. Um, so just to be able to witness that, you want it to all come to an end the way you want it to. Um, so if I were to be in Becky's brain, that's what I would take from it. Um, but I think we also hurt for each other, just like all the work that we've put in, um, the highs and lows of this season, injuries, not playing, in and out, um, you know, you wanted to come together with a trophy at the end, right? Um, so I think the hurt is there because we wanted the trophy at the end. Um, and so that's that's a sign of a competitive locker room. That's a sign of trying to strive for greatness every time you step on the floor. And uh, I'm sitting next to somebody that is great every time she steps on the floor. And I, I say this all the time that People give flowers after they retire, and it's it's sometimes it's too late. Um, you got to do it while they're playing and get people out to watch greatness. And so, being able to witness that every day is special. Uh, for the player, what did you learn about this team this year that will help you when you guys reassemble for next season? Um, we can withstand a, a, a few punches. Um, you know, the last couple of seasons, like we didn't, I don't, everybody was surprised when we started, what, six and six? It was like a lot of question marks and we're at the semifinals and um, people doubted us after that, um, that start. So I think we can withstand punches um, early in the middle and uh, we could have folded a lot earlier than, what, than losing tonight. Um, <laughs> we could have folded a lot earlier. And so to be here and, um, the highs and lows of a season, I, I think that's the biggest thing that we can take from this year. Chelsea and Asia, I'd just like to know, how do you both look back at this season? Like, how would you measure it? Girl, you might have to give me about a week. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's hard to really reflect in this moment because you're just, I'm still in the game mode of like, we really just lost. Like, I'm about to wake up tomorrow and not go to practice and watch film. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, you gotta come back to me with, with that one. Back here, y'all. We're gonna close out your season with Nikaias. Hey, <laughs> y'all. Appreciate y'all. Oh, just kind of a basketball question, but we try. Oh to no, no. Oh, I, I, I'll get the win. <laughs> <laughs> but just kind of bouncing off of the last one, I was gonna ask, like, what does the decompression? What does that look like for you, and how do you balance that versus kind of keeping that chip and leading it to next season? Man, I mean, even after winning the championships, I still give myself about a couple months just to like throw the basketball away. I don't watch it, um, I don't listen to it. Uh, I stay off of social media a little bit and just kind of take my mind just into the real world, dive into like touch some grass, breathe some air, play with my dogs. Um, those are things that I kind of just decompress in and just 
yeah, remove myself. Because sometimes, like I said, you get caught up. Like, the season drains you. It's exhausting. Um, but sometimes you got to have time for yourself. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take some time to myself and just kick it. Yeah, I would say the same. Um, take my son to the pool. Just hang out with him. Um, and go knock on Asia's door to see what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I need um, movies. Yeah, new movies dropping. I heard Joker 2 was... Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll be in a movie theater. Check it yeah, out. I mean, just <laughs> you find time to do other things um, throughout the course of the season, man. It's so it's a lot on our bodies, on our mind. You never really take a break from it during the season. So just having moments where we could just go outside and just chill and just relax with each other. But come in December, heading into January, it's locked in time. So, for sure. Thank you very much. Yes, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You need a cause, you need a medicine, you need anything. Y'all be blessed.